I am Michael Geyer, and I am here with author Bill Myers. Thank That's you for me. joining me. That's you. Yeah. And welcome. you are an author who has written over a hundred books. You've sold millions of books worldwide. You've won national and international awards. I don't even know, 40, 50 awards? I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what type of books do you write? For, for anybody who may be under a rock who doesn't know who you are. Uh, Kids' books, uh, teen books, and grown up books. So, all audiences. Yeah, usually um, I try to keep the pages turning so that you know, you're engaged and you keep reading. But they usually have a, some sort of Christian faith message in them. Uh, I don't want to just write entertainment, I don't want to just do a carnival ride. I want to do a carnival ride where you can get something of, of, of substance in it at the same time. Right. And I'll tell you, nothing beats that type of mail from people that say, you know, this has changed my life. It's not like this has entertained me. Anybody can entertain. Right. But to, to do that extra bit of, of drawing them closer to, to eternity, mm -hmm. that's exciting. So writing that many books, how do you come up with the storyline or for each and every book? I mean, that's got to well, be difficult. I, I go online and I steal from everybody I can find. <laughs> no, I, uh, uh, I actually, and I know this sounds real mm, churchy, but I, I spend about an hour a day just kind of hanging out with the Lord here. I keep a notebook uh, and I mean, I don't look for the ideas. They just sort of come. I'll be worshiping or reading something in scripture and go, whoa, well, that would be interesting. And then I write it down and then uh, eventually it turns into a book. That's amazing. So spending time with the Lord, that is the key. Well, don't hurt, yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. So what got you started writing way back when? Uh, I told the Lord I would do anything for him but write. That's always a good... And he made you a writer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I was going to be a dentist. Really? I was going to be a dentist, and I uh, had seen three movies in my life. Uh, I grew up in the Washington State Mountains, didn't get out much. I had seen Pollyanna, Pinocchio, and The Parent Trap. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had just promised the Lord, I was at 18 then, I just promised the Lord that I would say yes to whatever he asked, that I would always say yes to him. Uh, and then I went to see the fourth movie of my life, and its title was The Godfather. And I walked out of that theater just telling God, he better pay attention that there's power in the media, yeah. and uh, he should raise people up and get them involved. And every, t every time I told him what he had to do, it sort of bounced back at me. <laughs> so I uh, changed my major to filmmaking. Uh, and the rest is sort of uh, one accident after another. Mm -hmm. I started out as, as a film director, mm -hmm. then started writing scripts, uh, and then eventually, in between the script writing jobs and the film jobs, started writing books. Uh, and again, when I write, I write for the screen, even though I'm writing books. So that seemed like a natural. So, so that's the producing hat. Directing, not so much anymore, because uh, as you know, directing a film is like running in front of a freight train. <laughs> and I just soon let somebody else run in front of the freight. I'll, I'll yell at them as the producer. But, uh, no, it's, it's a lot easier to be a writer and a producer than a director. So. Right. So, I, so there I am. One of the things that you do on the side, other than your writing and movies and everything else that you're working on, helping young adults, yeah. which I was so impressed when I saw a, a video on YouTube. Um, but tell us about that, because that's very impressive. You know, it's one thing to hide behind the computer writing or, mm -hmm. or even to hide behind the directors, behind the camera, but to really get your hands dirty with people, uh, nothing beats that. Mm -hmm. So uh, since gracious me, since I was in college. I've always worked with high school kids and then later college kids, just kind of mentoring and discipling them and uh, doing Bible studies, uh, because that's that's tough time. Those are treacherous waters. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's more rewarding. It's more rewarding than the arts, because you're not shaping words, you're shaping lives. Yes. I get email from people that say, I've been a Christian all my life and now I get it. Oh, really? Yeah, that's exciting. What drives me is um, drawing people closer to Christ. Mm. Uh, it's, it's whatever whatever's draws your audience to Christ is, is what is what I'm about. And I think that's uh, that's what I want to go out with. I want to spend the next couple decades or four or five <laughs> uh, doing that, doing projects that reach children. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, thank you for uh, taking the time. Oh, thanks for having me. Love what you're doing. Oh, love thanks. your books. Love everything about uh, your ministry and life and well, giving looking, back to the kids. I'm looking forward to seeing what you're going to do because I'm pretty excited about that. Yeah, I am too. So we'll see. It's all up to God. <laughs> yes, sir. I hear that.